Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about a little bit of the direction I'll be pushing the content in for at least this part of the league. So I finished up getting my level 100s that I originally wanted to. I could keep kind of like memeing and go across the rest of the skill tree and, you know, play a Raider Righteous Fire, a Trickster Righteous Fire, a Scion Righteous Fire, but I didn't really feel like doing it. Um, not because I'm bored or any reason. I know that might seem weird. I just didn't necessarily feel like it. So um, what I happen to do instead is I've actually recreated a Righteous Fire character for SSF, mainly because, um, you know, it's just kind of fun to play. Uh, if I ever, if I get bored of it, I'll just go back to Trade League. It's not really a, a big deal. But I've also been getting a ton of questions about Righteous Fire and SSF, and my knowledge is very limited. And it's also fun, if you guys have never really played SSF, it's really fun to kind of like, at least for me, create your own environment and build up your wealth knowing that you are the only person that has acquired this like no one else has helped you with it it's just kind of fun right uh very good for players who are goal oriented so with that being said i just want to show you guys what we have done for now so this character started running righteous fire at level 55 uh which is when we got our cruel lab for pious path and you know there's nothing really to show i'm just going to go run through blood aqueduct really fast Okay, so I have not done anything special on this character. I didn't like farm any special uniques or anything. Everything is pretty bare bone and basic know. here. Uh, I did get lucky and I got a pyre drop, but you know, that's like not build enabling or anything. Um, so the current direction that I want to push this character in is essentially acquiring an Emperor of Purity in SSF. I believe there's like a tier four map or a tier five map. I'm thinking I'm going to prioritize trying to get that done uh, as soon as possible. If I find out that the drop is like way too annoying to get, I'll try to figure something else out for a six link. But that's the first primary focus is getting a six link chest that I do not have to use my fusings on just so I have something started basically. From there uh, on my Atlas tree, which I can't open because I, you know, I'm not at the Atlas yet. I'm definitely the first thing I'm going to prioritize on my Atlas is um, Betrayal. Betrayal is the number one thing. Uh, betrayal because I want to get hybrid chaos resistance on my gear. I want to get the uh, life gained as ES on my chest piece. I also want to get like potentially minimum frenzy or minimum endurance. Um, there's just a bunch of really good crafts. Also, you can get really good gear out of betrayal by just literally running betrayal and, and just like unveiling the gear. You can get like really good rings. Um, because you can get like guaranteed chance to gain frenzy charge on kill and that's already like a huge suffix right any ring with minimum frenzy and chance to gain frenzy uh, frenzy charge technically allows me to replace pyre already so that's kind of like something that's really really convenient uh, of course obviously for bossing the frenzy charge is not necessarily going to help but that's basically our first two big goals is getting the six link chest with the life gain as es and then getting the ability to gain life gain as es from Gravisha specifically with unveils. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys my gem links and gear. So um, we have the standard Righteous Fire, Burning Damage, Ink AOE, Ellie Focus. Um, the reason I'm not running Life Tap Swift Affliction is I do want more AOE and because colors, you know, kind of like whatever happens in SSF is kind of what you roll with. Um, nothing really good on this chest. It's pretty much complete shit. Uh, I don't think I had enough transmutations to craft life at the time, but yeah, definitely put life on this. Uh, pretty sick helmet. T2 life roll. Um, I have to finish qualitying it, but T2 life roll with increased life regenerate on the helmet is pretty awesome. My weapon just has attack speed and fire damage. Nothing really very special. It's just a very good start. Actually, it's not even really a good start. It just has attack speed for my shield charge, really. Um, amulet nothing really going for it here um gonna replace it soon i got pretty lucky with this iron ring but it's not really that good because of the base it's got dex life fire resistance and i just crafted fire damage um pretty good shield so my shield basically has a lot of armor on it and a lot of life regen not a lot but a lot of armor for the most part at the at the beginning i've also got these gloves nothing very special same thing with my heavy belt and my boots so all pretty basic stuff. As for the Atlas tree, it's exactly what we have followed on the rundown. So right now I am at the 
switching point getting ready to drop vitality for malevolence right over here i've just got to grab this then get my determination mastery and then turn off my vitality so currently we are running 914 life per second um i am sustaining even my energy shield if i turn off vitality i'm still sustaining my energy shield so really excited for the malevolent swap it's going to be a ton of damage and there's you know i'm already pretty much ready to swap it off but yeah that's pretty much about it um another big one would be heisting i'm not a big fan of heist mechanics personally so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do about the belt i'm thinking of potentially doing expedition and trying to get a prism guardian prism guardian agus aurora agus aurora instead because if i get agus aurora i have literally no reason to use um sorry i have no reason to use replica soul tether so that's pretty nice but we'll talk about that in a future video for now i'm out hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves i hope you guys are still enjoying this league i'm really liking it personally but yeah catch you guys all later don't forget if you like the video please feel free to like share and subscribe and don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys later.